Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Skyward Sword HD. Last time we saved the Water Dragon and opened up the new temple that we gotta go to, but we're gonna deviate from that this time and do a whole bunch of side quest stuff. Because that's where the charm of Zelda games are. There's a guy in here. Yeah, this guy. Dovos. I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you, it gives even a big guy like me the creeps. So yeah, that effectively triggered a whole chain of stuff. Oh my gosh. I didn't want to... Okay. His gaze is something else. This dude has something new. It's a very mysterious shield called a sacred shield. I suggest you linger and give it a good look. That we will. As you might surmise from its name, it can handle all variety of attacks. Fire, not a sweat. Electricity, no painful zaps. Plus, it automatically repairs itself. But it's fragile, that's the trade-off. Well, yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. 500 rupees. I want it. Ah, but I'm full up. Well, we can come back. We got a whole temple of rupee collecting. We're gonna do some stuff now that might give us rupees. I want one of these. We don't need it to give to, uh... What's his face? I can't remember his name. It starts with an F. I just want it for myself. <laughs> and we're actually going to utilize this dude for once. <laughs> and beef it up even so it's better. So this guy will take our bugs. I have been catching sky stag beetles off screen a little bit. So we have enough to do a stamina potion plus... It keeps the stamina gauge from going down for a short time. And it's only 20 rupees. So we're getting rid of some good bugs, but it's definitely a very good potion. So now we just run into the dilemma of when do we use it. Prevents your stamina gauge from depleting at all for three minutes. That's pretty amazing. And we could upgrade that one, but I don't want to. I want to know how to get more empty bottles, because I don't really know. But maybe if we start doing this side quest stuff, we'll run into something. We've got goddess cube chests. Actually, speaking of that, um, if I pull up the map here, you see there's two on Skyloft. One is that chest that I almost got some episode ago. Actually, we could go dive right onto it right now. These, I'm, I want to say these are probably the two on the big tree that I hit. So just, yeah, steer right over there and face plant. Sweet, more money. Yeah. And we might be able to just get right back without calling the bird. Yeah! <laughs> May not have a skull anymore. Oh, we made it. And also, I think this little ledge has a gratitude crystal on it. But at nighttime only, of course. There's also one I saw in a past video. I ran right by it. It's inside the Night Academy. So maybe we'll collect some of those, because we're going to be getting some doing these side quests. But yeah, let's do the one, the sobbing girl in, in the dormitory. I think this lady actually says something, that's why she's got the thing. Ah. I swear I hear a voice when I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is in there? I just wish they'd pipe down. Fledge, that's his name. I don't know how I forgot it, but... We'll use his bed again, because for some reason it just seems to be the room that I default to, even though Lynx is like right across the hall. I still don't know what happens with him in that stamina potion, but whatever. Somebody, please, somebody help me. Yeah, it's back. Paper, somebody bring me paper. Any kind of paper at all. Yep, the Majora's Mask hand in the toilet is back again. 
I think it wasn't the, one of the Game Boy games had a hand in the toilet too, right? So having triggered that, we gotta wait until morning now. And there's a whole thing with Colin. This is kind of like a moral dilemma thing, too. Kind of amusing. So right over here, he's pondering something fierce. Mm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Ah, Link, it's you! Don't sneak up on me like that! I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me! How can I help, bud? Huh? Really? <laughs> Normally, I would never ask someone like you for help, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might just be the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this, Link. I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. <laughs> I like the camera fan. Huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom at night who wants paper? <laughs> you fool! How dare you! This is no ordinary piece of paper, it's a letter! A very special one at that! I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a... I fine! It's a love letter! And that is why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? <laughs> so listen up. The person you must give it to is a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Karain. Yeah. You know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you, so don't read what's inside, you hear me? We received Colin's letter. Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Don't use it as scrap paper. I'm counting on you, Link. Get to it. If you don't mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. I thought you were Groose's sidekick, sir. So, we have two options. Toilet hand, or be nice and deliver the love to her. We have to change it to nighttime for the toilet. Let's go to our actual bed. And, uh... I haven't decided just yet what I want to do, but I want to at least show the hand. Seeing this quest to its end, no matter who you give it to, you get five gratitude crystals. But you can only get one or the other, you can't get both. So it really is your choice. Flush love down the toilet. <laughs> or... Yeah. You brought me some paper. I'll open the door. Please come in. It's like Giraham's hand, which is extra creepy. Feeny, I need paper. I'm not angry or anything. I just need some paper. Don't do it. I'm not going to do it. Somebody paper. So, I was reading about all of this, and it's pretty messed up. And no matter what choice you do, it's pretty messed up. But that is the ghost of a girl, like the whole, is it Myrtle in a toilet in Harry Potter? Or in like the woman's stall on some certain floor of Hogwarts, isn't there like a ghost of a girl? It's the same thing. It's a past student named Feeny, because everybody has a bird name, so I'm assuming it's like Phoenix. And yeah! After this bit of dialogue, I'll say more about it. Oh, Pippet, how can I get you to notice me? Ah, oh, Link! What's the matter? Do you, uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. Here you go. A letter for me? Could it be from Pippet? Here you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll just take that. I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. 
Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me, your brave knight, Colin. Wow, this Colin guy. Isn't he one of Groose's flunkies? And this, this is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. <laughs> As if! I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. Yeah, classic case of the young kid looking at the older, more mature lady. <laughs> Who has a thing for the jock of the Night Academy. Yeah. What's up, Link? <laughs> Karane got a love letter. Uh, I see, yeah, that's interesting, wow. What do you think she intends to do? Oh, she's gonna date him, dude. What? That's a big problem, isn't it? I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karain, you know? We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all, you know what I mean? So I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her. What? Don't be ridiculous, Link! I don't even understand how you could make such a wild accusation. Well, either way, I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision's gonna be, would you? Yeah, it is easy to be the runaround middleman. Cause like, what's in it for you, you know? You're the one who sent that letter, right? Yes. <laughs> it was a wonderful love letter, thank you. <laughs> it wasn't that great. And uh, what's your answer? My answer, uh, my answer... Oh, please, please, go out with me! Hey. Wait! I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, uh, I, I want to ask you out. Uh? What? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? I want to go out with Pippet. Ha! See that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for wait. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> really? Truly, you choose me. I'm so happy, thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening! <laughs> Poor Colvin. When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized. I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful, I don't know how I can ever thank you. Summon crystals from your forehead. So there it is. Could have been from a hand in a toilet, but... Instead we played... <laughs> because of you, I have an amazing new boyfriend! Oh my gosh! I feel kind of bad about Colin. Eh, we don't even care about Pivot. I want to check in. I think he's in Groose's room. I mean, he threw eggs at us, but you feel bad for the little chunk. <laughs> it's over. It's all over. What do you want, Link? Have you come to laugh at me in my miserable state? Just leave me alone. Yeah. It's gonna haunt him for the rest of his days, but that's what's so screwed up. If you chose the hand in the toilet, she graciously accepts the letter, assumes that instead of Karain, he meant to say her. Ah, oh, it's gotta be nighttime. Yeah, she says something about Colin crying. Like the voice in the toilet goes away, but Colin's crying every night now. But yeah, so Colin's either crying every night, haunted by his heartbreak, or he's literally haunted by a, a, a hand. Nothing else, just a hand of a dead girl who strokes his head at night. So between the two choices, 
heartbreak is something I think we all deal with. There's always somebody from our past that we think of and shouldn't anymore. I don't hear any voices coming from the restroom anymore, but now Colin's been crying himself to sleep in Gruce's room. Is there anything we can do? So yeah, this is the thing. Let's check in, in here first. Forget about the paper, goodbye. And you can never see Feeny again after this, so you could just take a crap on it. And that's that. So yeah. Uh, Bruce's room. I don't know why he's never in his own room. Yeah, there would be a hand stroking him on the head right now. <laughs> Stupid Pippet, so much hate for you for crying out loud. Yeah, now he's gonna grow up to be one of those guys that has a vendetta and he's gonna cause chaos at the Night Academy. There's so many ways his role could play out. He can either go the way of anger, he could get over it. Oh yeah, nighttime, it's locked on the bottom for some stupid reason. Well, actually, no, you know, that's good, because there's a gratitude crystal up here. That's not the door. Yeah, on this little tree here. I walked right by it some episode ago. Let's go see if we can grab more, like on that one ledge I was talking about. Because we need a handful of these. I want another wallet. Alright, well, here's that one. I really don't know where any others are. So we'll do some wandering. We got 21. That might be enough to trigger another prize. I'm not sure what the next total is. It took forever to get over there. I guess I... I went out a door that I should... I don't know. I made a very long turn. What? We've been over this, Mom! Mama. Calm down, Pippa. Don't get so mad. <laughs> How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Night Academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. <laughs> you've got to stop doing this. He sounds like Link when he does that noise. Oh, hey there, Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard, right? Uh, sorry. Oh, you heard? It's true, I'm working the night patrol to earn some money. But don't look at me like that. You're not exactly Mr. Perfect either, are you, Mr. Eavesdropper? Maybe we should just forget about everything that just happened here tonight. Ah, crap. I wonder if that was a gratitude crystal thing and I should have picked the other option. Uh, hang on. Uh, I know nothing about this. I didn't expect to run into this trigger. Hi there, Link. Pippa's really angry with me. Yeah, so now what? You're not exactly a housekeeper, so it's okay. Screw that mess. I'm not getting involved anymore. Uh, actually, we're near the dude. Let's check in. Because I know of a wallet and one other prize that is left with this Batro guy. And I really only care about the wallet, so if we can at least get that, then we can be on our way to do other stuff. I want to be human so badly it pains me. Ah, 30 of them. Should have looked it up before I came all this way. All right, we are all situated in the sky. Let's go to Fun Fun Island because I know, I think as soon as you're able to use that robot with the windmill, you're able to do this too. So let's do it. And right over here, I know 
We have a goddess cube thing. It's inside. I gotta tilt forward and hope for the best. Yes, got it. I think this is bypassing something. Yeah, that thing. It's gotta be a hook shot. Piece of art. Yeah, I'm convinced that's a hook shot target. So. I don't know if it was also intended that you could grab it without it, but I wasn't sure if I could pull that off. Oh, hey, look at this. Boing, boing. What do we get? Monster Claw, okay. They say it's possible to summon fairies by drawing three triangles upon certain walls. Yeah, I think he's draw the Triforce and you get three fairies, I think. We're gonna have to try that when we get to the next dungeon, but to Fun Fun Island we go. We gotta get that wheel to the dude. Remember we saw the wheel at the desert entrance of Laneru? I will do some edits, cut some stuff out to make this less painful with that stupid robot. I mean, he's cool, but there's a lot of text boxes and back and forth. So I'll cut out the back and forth, at least. What's this little island? Oh, is this the girl? It is. And it's... I forgot this lady... wasn't on the island wow. anymore. If it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now we can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. It's gotta be bird medicine. Uh... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> my older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. Oh, okay. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft waiting for me. Yeah. You already spoke to him. Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. Sweet, another gratitude thing. So... She was never meant to be on the colorful island, just on the way to it, I see. But yeah, Colin, man. It's rough to get over somebody that uh, wants nothing to do with you, but for some reason... I mean, when you're little, obviously, it's easier, because eventually you grow older and realize it's stupid. <laughs> what am I going to do? It's no use. It's all over. What's wrong? The party wheel that I pinned to my back flew off the island and fell down somewhere below the clouds. Dodo is his name. Without my party wheel, there's just no way I can make this island a place where people come and have fun. What can I do? If it fell down below the clouds, I guess I should give up. Give up? Nah, I'll work for it. How am I supposed to go get something that fell below the clouds? It's impossible. Your dazzling ability can be calibrated to find the thing that we've seen in Laneru Desert. Weird that it was there the whole time, even when it was on his back. Remember when he was like tooting his horn the first time we came here? It would be so amazing if someone could just find it. The smile on children's faces. I mean, he means well. So here it is. We've seen it before by the desert entrance. Highly unusual man on Fun Fun Island says was lost. Yep, call your lover. I like his music, though. Reminds me of, like, Shy Guy's Toy Box or something. This place seems strangely familiar, Berserp. <laughs> yeah, because your, your kin are here, dude. You just sit tight there and stay out of my way, Master Short Pants. I'll be waiting for you in the sky. Don't take long. You got it, Fi's gonna say. I highly suggest we go back to the thing, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Here's your wheel thing, Berserk. It's loose! It's loose! It is! <laughs> it's too much, man. I'll let you be my first customer, young man. Thank you so much. It's gonna be so much fun! Ah, oh, we get gratitude crystals for this, too. Well, and then if we do the bird thing, we'll definitely have the 30 for, uh, what's his face? Yahoo! You joyful little man, I owe you everything for finding my wheel! Very smiley Fun Fun Island has been realized, whatever. Normally it's 20 rupees, this time it's free. So much more fun than pay. First you need to know is you'll be able to, you'll be shot out of a cannon. You'll fly way up there. Don't cry, little boy. It's perfectly mostly safe. Your goal is to dive onto a cheery, colorful, rotating board, land on a happy little colored space, and you'll win rupees based on the color. But if you land on a gray space, I call that the loser space. I get to reach in and take a handful of your rupees. Isn't that fun? God. Don't come crying to me if you land on the loser space. Ha <laughs> ha. When you're diving, fortune rings and dodo balls. If you pass through the fortune rings, rupee multiplier. Oh, and the wheel spins slower too. But hitting the dodo balls will reset your multiplier and turn your smile upside down. And you can't use your sailcloth while diving. Okay, I got it. Sounds like fun, right? Not really, but sure. Yahoo! Absolutely not. Do not explain anything again. Get out of my face. Yeah. Right oh, that's a brave little guy. Once you're ready, hop into the cannon. Alright, let's do it. Give it a go at least once. Something tells me there might be a heart piece associated with this. Like that big colorful spot, maybe? <laughs> it does the stupid trumpet just before it blasts off. Ah, uh, okay. So through the rings, dodge his face. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not getting that one. Well, hold on to hope, I guess. Time six of... Loser. <laughs> Stop it with the horn! Too bad, so sad. You landed on a loser space. I snag a grand rupee total of ten. Whatever, it was free. Get out of here. I don't like you. I'm gonna cut that wheel off. Sorry, I got it. Get out of here. All right, whatever, let's go. Ah, what a clown. Yeah. Quite literally. Yeah. Alright, so we're here. Back to dude's brother. Oh. Lady's brother. You found my sister. Her brother's injured and can't fly. Yeah, you told us that. Oh, actually, no, you didn't. You just said he, she went over there. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. Oh. You're carrying too much. Ah, okay. Hang on. Great, you've made room in your pouch. Yeah, the mushroom spores. In a bottle? Wait, does this mean we get to keep the bottle? You can keep the empty bottle once she has a chance to use the stuff. Sweet! So we have three bottles now, effectively. I put the one thing away just now. The revitalizing potion for the shield. Just figured, of all the things I'm carrying, that's probably the least useful right now. I almost put the shield itself away, since we're just not really doing any combat things. Wow. It felt a lot quicker this time getting... Oh, I guess because I went for that chest the first time. 
Oh. Mushroom spores, what a relief, oh my gosh. <laughs> now I can heal my bird's injury. I was beginning to think we were doomed. You saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. Hey, they came from the bird. Well, now I'm curious, does the brother also thank us? Because that uh, with the kid, the mom thanked us, but then the dad was like, screw that mess, I'm not giving you crystals. And I'm curious if she has something now because she's going back to town. I didn't even realize she was missing. Okay, I'm hearing uh, Beetle's thing because now that we have three empty bottles, 600 rupees for this thing. Raise prices never, you're hallucinating, yeah. All right, well, whatever. It's worth it, clean out the wallet. It'll give us a chance to gather rupees without worry. And now we can hold all three bottles. I've just been wondering if we would run into an empty bottle, like with the goddess cube chests or something. Or adventure pouches even, because the very first one we opened was an adventure pouch, wasn't it? Either way, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness, I was so worried about her. Thanks so much for your help, Link. He does. All right. And we have over 30 now, 36. So let's go see Batch Row. It doesn't have to be nighttime. You are still trying. Colin, man. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of haunts me just thinking about that. I mean, of the two choices, I feel like the nice thing to do is the one that's more like, imagine being haunted by a ghost that strokes you every night and you don't even know it. That's messed up. Especially one that lives in a toilet. But if you have like traumatic memories of a past lover or somebody that you wish was a past lover but never really made it past friendship, like that's just something you, we all deal with that you gotta get over eventually. Sweet! A thousand rupees plus the 900, I think, of all the extra wallets I bought. Ah, yes. Comes with this thing, too. I thought he said something. I beg you, stop! That chest is not to be opened under any circumstance. There's something unspeakable inside. I want to open it. I said no! That chest contains the infamous evil of the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry that metal with you, you'll find more rupees than ever before. You'll even have better chances of discovering treasure. You'll, oh, don't make me say it. Sounds pretty handy. Now that you mention it, that does sound pretty enticing, but it gets worse, far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds that metal will find himself unable to open his pouch. No matter how badly you want to use your potions or shields, they will be denied to you. Can you imagine a more gruesome fate? Please push any thought of this chest out of your mind forever. I'll open it. We've got the cursed metal. More rupees and treasure appear, but you can't open your pouch. Forever. It's actually not forever. Well, yeah, my shield is now gone. I can't press R. But you can put it in the item check just fine and be back to normal. So that's what we're going to do. Just to have it. More rupees, especially after spending those 600. It's enticing, but... I don't know. It's one of those small gameplay variations, like a Paper Mario badge setup. On a second playthrough, get the cursed medal as soon as possible and play the game with that at all times or something. I'm sure somebody's done that. She doesn't have a thing on her head. Wow. Thanks for all your help. Okay. Makes you wonder, though. I guess we already got her crystals, so never mind. She's probably done for the game day. 
I've been doing a lot of wandering. This video is super long. Even with cuts, it's probably gonna be long. So, let's drop this off. I and Next time we'll do the temple, I think. I just wanted to do all this stuff. Uh, get my potion back. Yeah, so now we have an empty bottle. And a stamina potion. I uh, and not enough rupees for that other shield, but we'll get to it. Oh yeah, this lady's got an air potion now. So it's like stamina potion for underwater stuff. Not really a big deal. But thanks for watching, you guys. See you for the temple next time.